All right, guys. Well, thanks for taking the time to chat with me about uh, Red and just uh, just tell me a little bit about yourself and uh, how you guys know each other and where we're at. My name is Josh Capebutt. I'm the executive chef partner here at Lord Fish Bar, as well as Burger and Barrel, El Toro Blanco, and the newly opened Barry Meat Company. Pat and I actually became very friendly through the business, which is one of the things that I love about this particular business. You really don't just do business with people, you become friends with people, and I think this is a perfect example. Um, I want to ask you guys, what are your, what's your philosophy on food? I think there's no question. Starting with Pat, Pat supplies the highest quality ingredients you get your hands on. Whether I'm ordering a rack of lamb, a coat de boeuf, a chateaubriand, whatever meat I'm getting from Pat is the best piece of meat I can get my hands on. So what I don't want to do is screw it up. Uh, one thing I don't want to do is, is use ingredients that people are not common with and mask it. You know, I'm not looking yeah. to cover up flavors. You know, whether it's a rack of lamb that we did at the Red Dinner last night, I marinated them in rosemary, olive oil, and garlic, which is what the sheep actually eat. unbelievable. And nothing more than a little barbecue sauce and Dijon mustard uh, yeah. off the grill that anybody can eat at home, do at home. And it just, you, you bite in these lamb chops and it's like explosion in your mouth. So how'd you guys get involved with Red? How'd that all happen? I got involved with Red by one simple phone call of Mario Vitale of asking course, me, right? yeah. I, and that, that at least, you know, you can't say no to a conversation when it comes to Mario. When the Godfather calls, right? That's <laughs> it. You answer. But when I started to investigate myself last year, so this is my second year being involved with Red, uh, the thought of delivering the first generation of mothers that don't transmit AIDS to their child. It's amazing. Like, to be able to do that by what? Participating in some time and resources? It's invaluable. So, for me, I mean, it was a no-brainer. Well, they're so definitive in their goals and their mission. I mean, just, I, you know, looking at their website and kind of checking it out myself, I mean, it is, they're dedicated to literally, I mean, 86 ing eradicating AIDS. And I, I've never really, that's always been, you know, this sort of the myth of the impossible and, it's crazy to, to hear and see that 40 cents a day goes a long way. You know? It is. So what do you guys have in front of me? Uh, being that it was the red dinner, we did rack of lamb last night. Um, but we also thought it would be fun to feature what I, what I think is pretty red. Our, our gorgeous. gorgeous sushi grade tuna yeah. ones. Um, of course, it's much better. We obviously have a whole sushi bar here. But we also do another rip. And we do tuna tacos. It's kind of fun. So, so what we're going to do is we just... So you have red trigger chilies, right? A little spicy. Jalapenos as well. Beautiful. Cucumber, jalapeno, red finger chilies. This is a little soy ginger marinade. Hey, I know what we're doing with seasoning. Come on. This common. doesn't look homogenous. This is as delicious as it gets. Yeah, Let's we get the guacamole yeah. involved here. Come on, come on, come on. So, so here we have our, <laughs> our taco shell, right? For a little stability. I call that a filler. <laughs> no, this is actually for stability. <laughs> we put a little avocado on the bottom. That's awesome. Gorgeous. Great pleasure. Yeah, it's a great place. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. The red. That's amazing.